food allergies take center stage in today's show. Hi everybody, I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Welcome to The Balancing Act. Some of us, you know, can eat or drink whatever we want, right? Yep. No allergies, no issues. But they can be a big problem for allergy sufferers and we'll offer tasty options today. Love that. Plus the sun that we love so much <laughs> can also harm us, obviously. We're going to tell you how to protect yourself. And need to get more organized? Oh, okay, yeah. we have an app for that. It all starts right now. Imagine not being able to eat certain foods because they might trigger an allergic reaction, which can be very, very serious. And oftentimes your trigger foods may even be hidden. I mean, there's so much to think about when you have food allergies. And what exactly is a food allergy? Well, here is our resident allergy expert, Michelle Casalia from the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Take a look. allergy is when one's body recognizes food or the protein in the food as being harmful. Many individuals with food allergies have a super sensitive immune system. Food allergies are generally more common in children than adults. And while any food can cause an allergic reaction, there are more common and specific food triggers out there. The top eight allergens that are found in food allergies are tree nuts, peanuts, shellfish, fish, eggs, wheat, milk, and soy. Food allergies can be life-threatening and severe, especially if one has asthma. And what about symptoms? There's a broad range of symptoms. Some of them may include hives, vomiting, diarrhea, and swelling of the tongue. If you suspect that you or a loved one may have a food allergy, see your doctor. In the meantime, always remember, while dining out at a restaurant or a social function, to ask about ingredients in the food and how it was prepared. Being alert and thorough can help keep you at bay from harmful trigger foods. Get properly diagnosed. Learn to read labels. Communicate to all your friends and family exactly what you're allergic to. And be prepared. And for more tips and information on food allergies, visit the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America at aafa.org or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. And speaking of food allergies, no dairy, no problem. We'll tell you about a delicious dairy-free drink. Stay with us. Well, data is suggesting that more of us are eating healthier, cleaner foods. I know I am. And I guess mom's words, eat your veggies, is finally sinking in. Our guest today has her pulse on healthy eats and drinks. Neat registered dietitian and blogger Desiree Nielsen. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, I mean, Julie. I'm so excited about what we've got going <laughs> on here. You know, everyone's wanting to eat cleaner. They're, they're exercising. It's really a win-win going on right now, right? As a dietitian, I couldn't be happier. It's so wonderful to see that people are so engaged in, in what they're putting on their plate and how they're moving their body. For me, what's really interesting as a dietitian is this incredible move towards plant-based diets. And I think, you know, many Americans, you know, suffer from dairy intolerances, lactose intolerance, sure. dairy allergy, but there's also this move towards just trying to eat better. You know, life shows no signs of slowing down. Not and so at all. <laughs> by choosing all of these plants, which are really nutrient dense, lots of nutrition, without a lot of extra energy, which we don't need if we're not moving our bodies as much, um, it really helps change the way you feel. You know, I get a little bored when I go into the grocery store because there aren't any really new items out there. I mean, we really want new ideas for ways to, you know, eat cleaner, eat healthier, and, and I hope that's what you've brought us today. That is what I've brought. What I've brought today is the very first vegetable-based milk called Vegemo. You're kidding me. It's truly something new, which is always exciting so, for me. Okay, and, but this is the, I didn't know it was actually the first. That's exciting. The very first ever, there's three veggies at its heart. So there's potato and tapioca from cassava root, which we have here, and it makes it smooth and creamy and luscious like milk. As you can see, it yes. looks exactly it like looks dairy just milk. like it, yes. But the hero is really the peas. So okay. if you're into health, pea protein. 
It is easily digestible, allergen friendly, there's no soy, there's no nuts, but it's also extremely sustainable choice too. Well, that's great. I'm so glad you're here. We're looking for something like this. <laughs> and I see it with my clients as well. I do so much work in intolerance and digestive health. And I have clients who aren't doing dairy milk. Uh, they can't or choose not to do soy. They can't do nuts either. And so this really filled a gaping hole for you know all the moms with kids with food allergies, sure. uh, vegans. Uh, there's no cholesterol. It's non-GMO. So people who are concerned about food quality, it kind of hits all of those marks. How does it compare nutrition-wise? It has all the calcium and vitamin D you might expect from a dairy milk, and even more vitamin B12, which if you're totally plant-based, is important. In terms of calories and natural sugars, it's roughly equivalent to a glass of non-fat milk. Let's taste some things. What can I taste here today? Well, Vegemo, what makes it so special is that it's really versatile. Okay. So you can use it one for one in like milk in any recipe, which you can't always say about other plant-based milks. Um, so we have it here in smoothies. We have it here in a beautiful corn chowder. Yum. But this is delicious. You should try this one. Okay. What am, I, what am I trying here? A berry smoothie, so simple to make. Uh, it's one of the things I like to share with families who are on the go for breakfast. Yum! Oh my gosh, well, I'm gonna drink this whole thing. Go. Yeah. It makes it easy to be sustainable. And you know, what I love about Vegemo is that they're really committed to sustainability, not only with the pea protein, but right down to the packaging, which uh, scores really high on sustainability scorecards. Absolutely, now I, I wanna try, try it plain. Can I do that? Please, please. Okay, here I go, Vegemo. Oh my gosh, that's good. good. I was thinking you were mixing it with things to disguise though. No, this is fantastic. It's beautiful on its own. If you're a coffee drinker, it froths yes. up. You can make a nice latte out of it. No. What's really fun about Vegemo is the response has been so overwhelming. So recently at the Natural Products Show, it was voted best new vegan product by Veg News Magazine, and it was the finalist for the top three new beverages at the show. Where can we find out more about this? And our viewers, of course. So Vegemo.com. Wow. Okay. You're getting a sneak peek here, so it's almost in stores, but you can get it uh, on Amazon and our eBay store. Thank you for coming by. You're so welcome. This is really exciting. I'm glad to be able to share it with all our viewers. So that's right. We can go to Vegemo.com or of course you can always visit our website, TheBalancingAct.com as well. Bottoms up. Summer is on the horizon, but so are the sun's harmful rays. Get ready to protect yourself and then later organizing the chaos in your life through an app. Seriously, an app. Stay with us. We all love to feel the sun's rays when we're enjoying the great outdoors. I love it no matter the season, but sun worshipers beware. Those rays can be really harmful to your skin. There are, however, ways to protect ourselves and we really must do this. With more on this is dermatologist Dr. Melissa Lazarus of Lazarus Dermatology in Miami Beach, Florida. Boy, you're right around the corner from me. So you're right here. Welcome to Miami. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking Thank you. of Miami, lots of sun. I'm sure you've been exposed to it as well. This month is Melanoma Awareness Month. And even though people are aware, sometimes I wonder if they really are because they are unprotected. Well, it's a lot of people don't think that they have to be protected all the time. Right. And really, no matter where you live, either living in South Florida or living in the Midwest or the living in the, the mountains, sun. the sun is the sun. And it's whether it's cloudy or it's a sunny day, we need to be protected every day. And when I was growing up, I don't know if this happened to you because you grew up here as well. You know, my mother took care of me, but way back when we didn't have this awareness. So I'm going to give you the classic picture of my weekends. We would go to the beach, fabulous five friends of mine, and we would all put baby oil. I'm not kidding. From head to toe aluminum foil and then we just wanted to toast and burn again innocence but all that can be really harmful absolutely I'm sure I'm paying the price right now for that <laughs> hey I grew up down here too so I had the same issues you know sun protection is cumulative over time so the damage continues to accumulate so it's really important to start very young with sun protection but it doesn't mean as you get older we should stop it's something we can, should continually do throughout our lifetimes and we know that there are so many cancers, but skin cancer is the most common of all cancers, and it can be so serious and deadly for that matter. 
Exactly. Well, skin cancer is the number one type of cancer. One in five Americans will have skin cancer in their lifetime. Wow, it's that's huge. startling. It's huge. And one in 50 will get melanoma, which is a deadly skin cancer. People don't believe that you can die from skin cancer, but I've seen it happen. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, it's really important just when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is like brushing your teeth. We should put on sunblock. That's the first step. When you're going to be outside, we should be wearing hats, should be wearing sunglasses, sun protective clothing not trying to get tan. There's no such thing as a healthy tan. So the idea that being tan is something that's, that we want to do is something we really want to avoid. A spray tan is fine. The other thing we should really do is avoid the sun at the, the peak hours. So really make an effort. But the sun can come through the glass in our cars. It comes through the windows in our offices. So really being vigilant every day is important. My kids laugh so much at my mom because she'll drive when she picks them up and she wears these little gloves to yeah. cover this part. They call her Michael Jackson. <laughs> But she tells them, I am getting sun right now. So she really is vigilant yeah. about it as well. It's important. And I think because we learn over time that the, the damage is cumulative. If you look at older people, they have brown spots on their hands, brown spots on their chest. You know, we see all these changes. And what do you like about this sunblock? I know you brought this today. Well, this sunblock's Aerophotona Actinica. It's an ultralight emulsion. It's, it's UVA and UVB, so it's broad spectrum, okay. protective. It's an SPF of 50. Um, it also has DNA repair zones, which help boost the skin's natural recovery process. And it also has vitamin E in it, which is an antioxidant. And what about for someone who maybe has, oh, sensitive skin or acne? This product's non-comedogenic, so it's not going to cause acne. But try it on. Is Put it a thick? little bit on. No, it's an ultralight emulsion, so it's very thin. You only need a little bit, just a little bit. And I could and apply it on my hands? You can put it on your hands, on your face, on your chest. Oh, it's very light. Mm -hmm. And just this little bit, for example, my driving in the car would protect me. All sunblock should be reapplied every two hours. This sunblock is water resistant for 40 minutes. A little bit here goes a long way. Yeah, all you need is just a little bit. So again, get up in the morning, put some on my face, my neck, my hands, and I'm ready to go. All the, any exposed area. And it doesn't matter where you live, because I know I'm a South Florida queen here, but even if you're in the Midwest, I mean, the sun is the sun. If the sun is the sun. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy. It doesn't matter if it's sunny. We know that a lot of people who ski get a lot of skin cancer because they're closer to the sun, so there's more radiation there. So the UV rays are everywhere. They're always around us, and you should always protect yourself. Do you need a prescription for this? Nope. And for more information on this, where can we find this, doctor? Um, this product is sold in some dermatologist's office. It's also available on isdin.com. Uh, that's I-S-D-I-N.com. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I'm you. going to give it a try. And for more information on protecting your skin from too much sun exposure, remember you can check out our website, thebalancingact.com. Look familiar, notes posted everywhere, the reminders of what we have to do at home with our families, on the job, even running our own business. But how effective are they? And is there a better way to help us stay organized and increase our productivity? Well, of course there is. Meet Daniel Reed from Evernote, who has some great ideas on helping us organize our life. She's a wife, a mother, and a business professional. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome to the show. Yes, I'm okay, very so excited to be here. I'm excited because, <laughs> let me explain to you my life. So, you know, Monday rolls around and I'm looking at my agenda and I you know paper and pencil still and I'm writing everything down what has to be done I'll even wake up in the morning and I go to the bathroom and I have a post note a huge reminder of something let's say with my children chaotic I know because there's so much to remember that happens every day I know it's absolutely true for myself and for all of the women that I know we're constantly trying to juggle our life as a parent and our life as a career woman and there really is no division between the two anymore. Mm -hmm. You could be you know, managing both aspects of your life within the same 20 minutes on any given day. And I know you're busy because I was reading your bio and I saw, okay, you have a three-year-old, your career, you like to garden, you attend professional baseball games with your husband, you play soccer with your daughter, you cook for the family and friends. I, it gets hectic and sometimes I'll tell my mom because I'm like you, I, I forget things. Am I getting old? What's wrong with me? You know? I know, I can absolutely relate. I mean, on my way here, um, traveling from the Bay Area, you know, while I was at the airport, I was checking in with my flight, and then, you know, my husband called and was like, wait, where's that piece of research for, you know, my daughter's school that we needed to access? And, you know, that is, there, there is no division between the two, and it's just this blended life that we're constantly trying to manage, and we all want to be successful and in, in every aspect of our lives. So how do you get organized? What do you do? Absolutely. So 
my secret weapon is Evernote. And it's an application that I can access on my phone, I can access it on the web, and it manages my life. I use it to capture all of my daughter's drawings. I use it to share shopping documents with my husband. I use it to manage important family documents. And then the work stuff where I'm you know, always taking notes in meetings and using that to prepare quarterly results for the executive. So walk me through it. You download an app. Yes. Evernote app. And then you do what? So first thing you're going to want to do is create an account. So you're going to want to create a username and a password. And then you're going to want to have this on all of your devices. So you can access it on the web, but you can also access it on your phone. And that is the true beauty, because we're always on the go. And you want to have important information always at your fingertips. So for example, if I have, let's say, a hectic week, and I know I have to go to the grocery store, I have to go to the doctor, I have to tell my husband to pick up the children, how does that work for me? I actually, I, ha I have a list of notes uh, that are just daily to-do lists. And so every morning I go into Evernote and I create the note for the day, which is what do I want to accomplish for today? And I write down all of the things that I need to do. They live within a notebook, which is how I organize all of my thoughts. And every day I am able to access that and charter my progress. So give me some examples on how I would work in terms of using it for, um the grocery store or for things that my daughters are doing, uh, for the soccer games? How do, you, how do you incorporate it in your personal life? I have this notebook just called Vivian's Drawings and every day when she comes home from preschool she has these magnificent drawings that are just you know amazing and I want to remember them wherever I go and so I take a picture of them on my phone and I upload them into the application and when I'm traveling or when I'm at work you know I can always look at my phone and see those and I'll know that I'll always have a digital memory of you know that part of her life and with my husband so we're constantly sharing responsibilities um, as parents and sometimes he does the grocery shopping sometimes I do but we have a list uh, or a note in Evernote that we share and we're able to both access it. So he's at the store and he's looking at the note and notices that we need to buy bananas. I could have been you know, editing that note earlier in the day. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, so it's absolutely wonderful. And, and he gets I, that updated information. He absolutely does. So it syncs across all of your devices and that's the true magic because you know, my husband is at his job and he's got a busy day and he's going into the note and he's editing what it is that we need to buy at the store and then I'm doing the same thing 20 minutes later and who's ever at the store is able to look at the note and you know get a sense of what it is that we need to buy and even I went through a situation where my husband just called me a few minutes ago there was a miscommunication as to who was going to pick up the kids at what time and I could have shared that information you absolutely can so you can have you know your daily schedule of you know who needs to be where when um, and that is absolutely you know amazing in terms of managing the family schedule so it really takes everything that you need to do in your life and keep it simple. Yes, the other aspect is I love to cook. And so, you know, I'm constantly creating menus, whether it's for Thanksgiving or oh. Christmas, and, you know, kind of capturing what are, what are we gonna have for appetizers? What are we gonna have for, you know, dinner? And what are we gonna have for dessert? And I'm able to create shopping lists and a meal plan all within this note. And, you know, the great thing is, is if I'm on the go and I want, I have this, you know, thought that I wanna input, but I don't have my laptop, I can do that directly in my phone. Oh my gosh. I'd Love this. All right, and for our viewers out there who'd like to learn more about Evernote, where can they go? Today we have a special offer for the Balancing Act audience. You're going to want to visit evernote.com forward slash the Balancing Act and get started. Pleasure having you. Thank you so much, Olga. And for more information on Evernote, just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. You know, I can see moms on the go and everyone else benefiting from that app. Great idea. It really is. And that's our show for today. But head to our Facebook page and our website. Follow us on Twitter. We've got so much there. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.